put off by how long this video is, don't worry. I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast. So while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself and I get into a lot of details about the subject that, you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. But hey, if the video is just too long for you to watch, chances are I recorded a shorter version and the link will be in the description box. It's not an inferior video, it's merely a Cliff's Notes version of this very video. Assassin? Assassin, but it's a bit redundant, but whatever. Mood review. This follows Mika, the Europol agent who has who's who's tracking down, discovering clues as to the existence of a secret world of ninjas with clans that for a hundred pound are willing to assassinate anyone. And Mika, along with her partner Ryan, who's a bit more of a supporting character, Mika's the lead, they discover that there is this one assassin ninja, Raizo, who might be a bit different than the rest. I am going to try to cover what everyone who hasn't already seen this is wondering up front. Yes, this is epically awesome. This is a movie for every kid who's ever just been aware of ninjas and the basic idea of ninjas and thought, that's cool. Yeah, this, this was made for those, you know, this was, I, I believe James McTeague directed it, but I have a feeling that it's really the Wachowskis directing it by proxy, similar with you know, V for Vendetta. This is basically the Wachowskis, you know, getting back into just bloody, visual, awesome action. And, yeah, this is them doing ninjas, you know. And... Yeah, there's a ton of action. The film moves moves by quite quickly, and even the flashbacks have action, you know. And while there are, you know, not all of it is just unmitigated awesome, but almost all of it is, and what what little isn't doesn't interfere with the awesomeness. So, you know, if 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 you're a guy, you you should see this. It's just yeah, if if you at all dig ninjas, this is your movie. Now to get a bit more in depth, the film basically gradually reveals more and more about Raizo through flashbacks and you know, yeah, like I said, even the flashbacks have action scenes in them. The flashbacks are to his ninja training. He's part of the Ozuru clan, I think that was how... Yeah, something like that. And... I'm not gonna give away exactly what his deal is, because... I tried to pay attention to when it was revealed. You don't find out until about halfway through the movie. So, yeah. Now, this is a movie that very much does not overstay its welcome. It realizes fully that this is essentially fluff. You know, this is just something to sit down with and enjoy for a while. And something like that, that's perfectly fine, but something like that should not overestimate how, you know, how, how long you're going to put up with just pure fluff. And it actually hits the note pretty perfectly for that, you know. The movie is 90 minutes and I'd say two-thirds of that is pretty much just pure action or at least tension. And that's something that's really great about how there are a ton of ninjas in this, you know, but 
in spite of how many times we see the ninjas, and I'd imagine the actual screen time, especially if you count the training. Well, let's not count the training, actually. But whenever you see a ninja in ninja garb, they're, you know, being awesome. They're attacking someone, killing someone, or you can just tell they're just about to, you know, yeah, kill someone in a really horrible way, you know. And do note that this is indeed one of those movies where flesh, human flesh, pierces about as easily as wet paper, you know. And yeah, everyone, you know, death is a certainty in the real world. In the world of Ninja Assassin, it's a further a certainty that your death will probably involve decapitations or, you know, chopped off limbs, some kind of just, you know, maybe shuriken, and just, yeah. And of course, you know, in spite of how well trained these ninjas are, you know, there are of course times when their aim with the shuriken is horrible and so on and so forth, so that, you know, we can keep our main characters alive for long enough. The... The characters are not terribly engaging or fleshed out. They're essentially... You know, what I will say is that you do care somewhat. They are not obnoxious, for example, and, you know, they're... The, the sort of conflict, I suppose, is engaging enough. You know, you don't... You, you genuinely do care. Somewhat. You know, you, you get into it and you do want to see the good guys win, you know. And the bad guys lose. So, you know, and that's pretty... That, that is important in, you know, just a straight-up fun action flick. You know, you still do want to entertain your audience, and this definitely entertains. The acting is so-so, you know, there's nothing particular, there, there are no standout performances, I'd say, in really both, you know, in, or in neither spectrum, I suppose, you know, no, no one is just horribly bad and no one is just excellent, you know. The movie is also, I, if you're, if you're going to watch it, I'd maybe suggest just a rental. I'm not sure this is something you necessarily like, need to own, need to watch over and over. You know, it's, it is mainly, this is a visual feast, you know. The body count is through the roof. And it's, like I've already hinted at, it is a brutally gory and violent, bloody movie, you know. The there is a an okay amount of you know different locations, and what I will also say is for basically the whole movie being ninjas, excuse me, having martial arts battles and killing people, it never actually gets repetitive or tiring. I guess you know part of it is as I say there there are several different locations, so you know it, it's not just the one is, you know, there are, there's actually, there's a fight that goes on for a while and eventually th a couple of ninjas are literally fencing on a busy street, you know, and just the cars, insane, just insane. And, you know, at, in addition to that, you know, and that I should maybe also mention part of what keeps the ninjas mysterious and impossibly cool is that when they aren't fighting and such they are in the shadow you know they and they will just like emerge from shadow there there's this one scene where a battle is done basically in shadow whilst someone tries to find the ninjas with their flashlight you know and basically the lighting of the scene is made to look as if the only light source is that flashlight, because otherwise it's completely dark. And that's really cool, it's very effectively done. And of course it is, you know. The lighting doesn't actually come from her flashlight, but it looks like it, and 
without actually feeling like there's not enough light, you know. But but yes, you know, so they keep they keep it interesting through the the locations, the different sort of different situations where, you know, the the fighting occurs. And there's also just some really excellent, just really well thought out visual sequences. Now, I'm, I'm, I can't give them away. I gotta say, it's just, you know, if you've already watched the movie, watch my spoiler video, I will be talking about them. But just, yeah. If you enjoy just visual action, and, and this, by the way, also uses slow motion, and as we've seen the Wachowskis do earlier, it uses it right. You know, the, Michael Bay needs to sit down and watch this movie. This is how you use slow... Uh, heck, the, that other guy does as well. What's his name? The, the Watchmen 300 guy, you know. Definitely, just watch this and model your slow motion after this. There's not too much of it, and yet there's a, you know, there's a decent amount. And when it's used, it's used well. It's used to great effect, you know. Not everything gets cooler just by, you know, doing it slower. The the plot is pretty thin, but again, you know, the, the movie realizes what it is, you know. You basically just have, I mean, basically the quote-unquote plot is this, you know, these government agents discovering the, you know, reality that ninjas exist and that, of course, makes them targets, and yeah, that's pretty much it, at least that's all I'm gonna tell you, you know. The backstory is pretty good, you know, and that's also where the film does get a little more sort of emotional, you know. Not sappy, though. It, it maintains a level of, you know, and again, it just, it actually works pretty well. You, you get to care. And, yeah, I think that's everything that I had to say about the movie. But, yeah, definitely... Actually, finally, I, I'm not sure I've really made it clear, but... Something that's really great in this film is that the ninjas are not only, like, just, you know, you don't only have these battles that they take part in. You know, well, yeah, they, they don't just straight-up assassinate people, they, you know, you have these scenes where you have no idea where the ninjas are or how many of them there are. You know, this sort of predator style, you know, first movie, kind of stalking of people, you know. There's actually one scene that really reminded me of aliens. With, yeah, it, it has that sort of thing of, you know, you, you are terrified of these guys. And again, that is, I mean, if you make a ninja movie where, and, and it's supposed to be like the definitive ninja movie, and I'd say this is trying to be that, and you don't have scenes where the ninjas are just, you, you know, you don't know where they are, and you don't know exactly when they'll strike. You can just tell they're going to strike. They're going to kill everybody, you know. Yeah, it's, then you don't stand a chance of making the definitive ninja movie. But as it is, I'd say this does have a pretty good chance of earning that title. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.